Okay, what's up? This is my second video in like the last 10 minutes. But anywho, I'm here. I'm going to start sewing. Pretty excited. I haven't vlogged in like a while. Well, I'm kind of, my camera died. And I think I may have left the charger at school. If not, it's here somewhere in the house. Kind of lost. But been having a blast. We went and did like massive fabric shopping at this store called Osgoods in West Springfield, Mass. If you guys have not been there, you should totally go there. It's the biggest place I've ever seen. Um, it's like the size of my residence hall, but all fabric everywhere. Um, got a lot of cool fabric. I'm not gonna pull it out right now. Actually, I'm gonna pull it out right now because it's so much you guys mean to me. First of all, this is a totally total amazing stretch knit. It's in this really neon pink color. You guys probably can't see that because my video quality is just not that good. And that's going to be for a shirt. That's going to be, it's going to come out second on the runway. This black stripe thing, it's going to be another shirt that comes out, what is that, eighth on the runway. Um, we got some white for a swimsuit and a dress that's going to be. We got some gray for the lapel of a jacket. Well, some silver. It's really metallic if you guys can't see that. Um, we got some yellow for a cool little hood thing that's going to happen. I meant to put Michael to work when he was here because those also need to be shredded and knotted for a skirt that I'm making, which I really do not feel like doing all by myself. But, yeah, if you, Michael. Michael came this weekend, if you guys don't know. His blog is Blazer blazerandhightops.wordpress.com so go check him out. He hasn't been blocking too much lately, but whatever's gonna happen. He's also the one that's doing Isabel Lewis with me. His name is Michael Lewis. My Osh Isabella Isabel Lewis. And we're gonna have a new WordPress, uh, WordPress vlog too that's gonna be starting when we get back to school. Um, We have this beautiful black satin. It was like so expensive, but really nice. And I got a dollar off because the lady asked Brittany how much, Brittany's my niece, how much fabric was, and she said dollar less than it actually was. She didn't know. Whatever. Um, we got some electric blue denim for a pair of pants that's gonna happen. Pants? That's not really denim. I actually don't know what fabric that is. Feels like denim though. I'm bad with that. Um, got some gray stretchy stuff that's also gonna be knotted to go on the bottom of the skirt. We got some more yellow. I forgot what this is going to be. Oh, this is going to be... I don't know. I think I might not use this. I like a brighter yellow to go with the black. You know, black and yellow is really pretty. Just like those cover girl commercials that... What's her face? Cool girl. The redhead with the wrong face. Can't think of her name right now. This is weird. It'll come soon. Anywho. Got some lace because that needs to happen. Got some rope because that needs to happen. And I got a plethora of shoulder pads because... You guys know why that needs to happen. Yeah. Um, right now, I have a week to make, like, 11 garments. Maybe I won't make 11, but I know I can finish one every day. I'm pretty fast. Pretty fast sewer once I get everything cut out and put together. That's the longest part. That usually takes just a few hours. And then I'll go so crazy. And then I'll struggle with the zipper about 47 times. Then I'll finally get it on. So I'm going to try to finish all of those. I still have to get some fabric. I need some red, red like, silk. Really expensive. I saw some at Osgoods. They just didn't have enough of it. I need, like, 20 yards of it, apparently. But, yeah, I need to get that. I need to get some type of floral print chiffon. I hope you guys can hear me when I look away. But I found this chiffon, but I wanted it to have red in it because the that's just... The flow of our little thing. Why can't I speak right now? I don't know. Anyway, this one is pink. It's kind of it's kind of nice. Worst comes to worst. If I can't find anything, I'll use this. I was also thinking about making a trip up to New York. You know, visit the infamous Mood or some other really cheap fabric stores. Yeah. Um, what else I have in here? I have some polka dots. I'm not using these polka dots, I hate polka dots, but whatever. Got some blue lace. Not using that. All the stuff that I'm pulling out right now, I'm totally not using for the next collection. But, you know, it's always fun to have cool fabrics laying around. Um, I saw this, I spotted this on the way out of the store. And I may use it, I may not. But 
even when I was sitting there debating it, the lady that was cutting the stuff, she was like, you would be insane not to use that with all the other fabric that you have. So I was like, you're right. Whoa. Dream big. Um. Then, you know, I've got some more pink and yellow and there's some gray in there. There was a floral that I was actually going to put on a dress. I did something like this before. It's actually hanging right there with the yellow, you guys. Probably can't see that. Whatever, no big deal. Not an issue. This weekend, Michael and my friend Tisha came up, and we were supposed to. Well, Michael and I were supposed to make a trip to Osgoods, probably to the mall, so I could buy Proactive because I used to be really addicted to Proactive, then I got off, and now I miss it. So, you know, I'm just gonna have to spend that, spend that money. Um, we we're also supposed to make tons of chain safety pins. I don't know if you guys saw those, but. They're for sale right now on Esmo Lewis at Etsy. There should be a link somewhere on my blog. Um, there's only three for sale. That's why we were supposed to sit around and make them because we don't have any more. And also just tons of other cool things. He has like a bunch of broken stained glass that we're supposed to crush up and make into cool things. I think we're gonna just like randomly put some on shoulders. I was also supposed to order all my studs and spikes for like the dresses and the glasses and the shoes that we're making for the collection. I totally cannot wait until you guys can see them. But I can't, I'm not putting up, like, pre-release photos of complete garments. I will totally show you guys, like, pieces of everything. So, you know, you can get just as excited as I am. And if you guys are curious, or if I haven't said already, the show is March 26th, I think, and it's going to be at Emanuel College in Boston. It's going to be our first time showing. I've coordinated that show before. It's pretty, pretty big, pretty big. Good turnout. Yeah. Reaching 1,000. Maybe 1,300. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? Someone knows. I just don't know. But, um, oh yeah. And I have this, like, really cool black and white print. I need to find an African fabric store because I want some black and white, like, kente cloth. I think that'll look really cool with some of the designs. This one's going to be the shoulder of this dress because the top of this dress has. One shoulder, and the other shoulder is going to be this huge explosion of printness, and yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. Pretty excited about it. It's going to go on our, our model, Christine, who's also a friend, and she's also modeled for Blossom Bazaar. She showed up on my blog once, you know, those crazy pictures against like a white wall. Yeah, just doing her thing. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can blog soon. I like to use pictures and whatnot, but I don't have a camera right now, so I don't know if you want me to rant on about the stories. No, I don't, I don't think you do. You don't care. I'm getting a sense that you don't care. It's cool. I wouldn't care either. I got a new necklace for Christmas. Um, I also got like a $30 gift certificate for every 21 that I lost, so I'm looking for that now. And then I just realized I need to go make deposit in my bank because... Someone's going to try to get a bill out of there, and there's nothing right now. So I just went and Sam with fabric shopping and spent a few hundred. There's nothing in my checking. I'm stressing out. All right, well, yeah. Bye now. Oh, oh, bye now.